Today we're looking at an iOS 8 jailbreak tweak called Watchboard that makes your iPhone look like this. Now I may have just said look in the small intro, but this is a fully functioning iWatch replica home screen for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or even your iPad. We're just going to be focusing on the iPhone 6 version or iPhone version in general in today's video, however. But look at these animations. As you scroll around through all of your apps, they pop in and out just like that. And I know there's another tweak that does something similar, but just from what I've seen in number one, this is actually developed by the guy who made Barrel, the famous, famous jailbreak tweak of animations when you're flipping through pages on your springboard. So he's arguably a master of animation and he definitely showed what he can do with this tweak. Everything looks so, so nice, but it doesn't just end there. Of course, there's way more to this tweak than just scrolling around your home screen. Because if you want to see all your apps together, just pinch to zoom out. And if that view is too far for you or you've found the app that you want to launch, you can zoom in just like that. They can get about this big or even up to this small, depending on how far you zoom out. And you can't even launch an app from this view. So I'm going to try to load speed test up right over there. And yeah, there you go. It was just a little buggy to launch it or glitchy, I guess you would say, but you can launch from that view if that's what you want to do. Notice that when I also exit an application, there's an animation as well. And there's, that was a bad example of showing you guys the animation of zooming in. Let's go ahead and launch up the clocks app. For example, when we tap on that, you get a very nice looking animation and there are all my alarms. Very glad I didn't have to get up at 610 today for school. But as you guys can see, look at these animations, opening an app, launches like that, closing out an app, you get another beautiful bouncing animation. Really, if you only take one thing away from this video, just know that the animations for this tweak are awesome. However, if we head over to the preference panel for Watchboard, you can disable it just like this. Turn it off, and if you go back on your home screen, it is disabled and not running anymore in a second. Now there's another tweak that you can do this same thing I believe, <coughs> Eternum, uh, but you have to respring when you change anything. I can completely switch from a hybrid of using Watchboard to not just by the flip of a switch and it's the same for any option here. Circle icons, if I want rectangular or rounded like normal, I can do this. And just like that, they're not circle anymore, but indeed are rounded rectangle like you're used to seeing your app icons. Also, you can turn icon labels on or off if you wish. Personally, I think it just looks a whole lot cleaner with them turned off, so I don't enjoy looking at them. So I've simply just got the watchboard enabled setting on. As far as icon spacing goes, you can move it all the way to the right to make your icons extremely spread out, or you can move it all the way to the left just to make the icons extremely close together. Now, obviously that is way too close for me, so I think I prefer somewhere around 75, 80, and that looks perfect for me. It looks very spaced out, but not too spaced out at the exact same time. Now let's say that you want to delete an app because of course you're going to download an app that you just simply don't want anymore. For example, I'm going to try to delete, let's just say Overcast for a second. All you have to do is simply tap and hold on the icon that you wish to delete and then just swipe it off your screen like that. So once again, just tap and hold and throw it off your screen. It'll ask you if you want to delete or cancel. And of course I love Overcast. That is by far my favorite podcast app that I've used so far, so I'm going to hit cancel, of course, and moving apps around is pretty much the exact same as you do on the regular home screen. Just simply tap and hold on an icon and you can rearrange it and move it to wherever you want to just by, once again, simply dragging, holding, and moving your finger around your screen. And that's really all there is to say about Watchboard. So if you want to download this tweak right now, it is available for $3.99 in Cydia's Big Boss repo. Yes, I know it is a little bit on the pricey side. I think this is hands down the most expensive jailbreak tweak I've purchased in quite some time, but I was on the edge of buying a watchboard UI tweak or just a Apple watch UI tweak to replace my home screen. There are some other ones, really one in particular that's gotten a ton of attention, but from using this, I can tell you it's a quality tweak and it works very well. So if you did enjoy watching the video, feel free to click that like button right down below. And as always, if you want to see more Cydia to Tweak reviews similar to this, make sure you subscribe as well after you've clicked the like button, and I would seriously appreciate it. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.